the question that was raised in the science call was what distinguishes protandum from other products? And you've already heard this today from a couple of speakers, and it's worth reiterating uh, and re-emphasizing. One of the major distinguishing features of protandum is the peer-reviewed published science. And, you know, I have grown up literally for the past 40 years of my life dealing with the peer review process. And so to me it's second nature. I don't even think about what those two words mean. But about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, I got an email from Ben Seaman. And he said, someone asked me, what does peer review really mean? And he wanted me to just explain it to him. And I sent him an email uh, that had this text, and I don't expect you to, have to read all that, too many words, that's more for me. But I explained um, in detail what those two words, peer-reviewed, really means. When scientists do a study, they write a manuscript describing it, and that manuscript is submitted to a journal for possible publication, and I say possible because you're by no means assured that your manuscript is ever going to be published in a reputable peer-reviewed journal. The journal editor selects two or three academic scientists who are well qualified to judge the quality of the work and the soundness of the conclusions that are drawn. Usually they are leaders or at least well-known contributors to the field of the science that's being submitted. They act as anonymous reviewers of the work. They're free to question anything and everything about that work. They're free to ask you to do additional experimentation. That frequently happens. They're free to question your conclusions. They're free to question your statistical analysis. This is scrutiny of the highest degree. The author must then respond to that critique uh, from each of these reviewers until all their concerns are met. Sometimes that process takes four, five, six months, occasionally even longer. It can go back and forth a couple of times between the authors and the reviewers. The reviewers are anonymous to each other as well as to the authors, but they do get to see each other's comments. And often what one reviewer says, maybe in the first round, will be picked up by a second reviewer in the second round. And this thing goes back and forth until all the questions are settled and everyone involved agrees this is a sound, well done study. All right, it takes a while just to describe that process and trust me, it takes a long time to get through that process. In some journals, only five or 10% of the papers that are submitted to that journal are ultimately accepted and published. That's how rigorous the process is. And that's why peer-reviewed articles in reputable journals are much more reliable than something you Google from the internet, something you find on a blog that could be put up by absolutely any person on the planet with no review at all. That's why peer-reviewed articles are more reliable, more informative, and more dependable than what a company may publish itself on its own website. There's no peer review there. A company can say virtually anything unless it flagrantly violates a law and then it might be taken off. Right? So peer-reviewed published papers really mean a lot. 